I want to talk today about how talking, and that is really connecting to people, is to me very important for health. And I think it's also the lack of it a lot of times is what leads to excessive substance abuse, you know, like weight and uh, alcoholism, uh, drug taking, uh, especially those that, you know, make your a difference in your feelings uh, or comfort. Um, I've been watching Kirsty Alley's show because I relate to Kirsty. She weighs the same as I do in when she's starting off. And I, I think the main thing about her program is missing is intellectual content. That's why I don't think it'll work for most people. She's developed a line of food to take, and she's exercising, and and uh, but and none of these people. And Oprah, she goes on Oprah, but I think none of these people emphasize the part that communicating has to play in controlling yourself and having a healthy lifestyle. And that's very hard to come by in our society. Like for example. I live in a complex uh, subsidized housing. Um, quite a lot of disabled live here and a few seniors, but it's mostly dis disability and with some sort of disability. Well, <clears throat> we have common areas where people go to talk, but in the winter, this last winter has been very cold and it's been long uh, here. A co too cold to go outside in the patio where it's extra cold. So the people go out front. A lot of people go out front where the sun shines. We've been asked not to go out there and hang around in the front like it doesn't look good. But <laughs> but I can't go out there because there's no place to sit and there's no and I can't stand too long. So I've been volunteering to go into the video library where people rent come in and rent movies and talk. And um, I think that's a, you have to take your talking indoors. So I go to, I actually volunteer to make myself available to talk to people, uh, visit with them, because I think that there's this big need that people have to talk about, well, mainly like problems of what we, re we encounter living here in I, and I always feel that when people are showing signs of oh, agitation, they be, present some problems, it's very important to get those people talking and getting out what's bothering them before they start acting it out and before, uh, you know, they become more dangerous. Uh, don't they call that group therapy? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, some people might call it group therapy, but we, I think it's something that m m people have been doing for what, thousands of years, uh, gathering together, talking about their problems, and it, there's a big need for this. And why have we got Facebook? Why have we got yeah, blogging? We, why? Remember if we used to sit around the fire, you know? Oh and yeah, would back in make, our make nasty comments to our one caveman, another. Our caveman days, we'd sit around the fire, I'm sure. Uh, but I go on Facebook so I can try to get that communication going, but, and especially with some relatives. And then I also uh, <clears throat> blog, and I also do these videos, all in an attempt to connect to people. Uh, and I would say, I would say that the biggest, the, the first of all, the, the unit that people start with are family. Now, p presumably, if you've got a good family uh, situation, why the little kids learn to communicate as they are growing up, and uh, they have to learn to get along with their brothers and sisters, or try to, uh, and they're going to be different. There, it, there's going to be some very different people in the family, even though they're all related, usually, <laughs> to uh, get along with these. And I say that whenever anything interferes or makes the family unit less healthy, then that's going to affect the communication. Uh, for one thing, I think 
uh, churches uh, with the best of intentions sometimes actually uh, interfere with communication. Why? Because so many times authority uh, takes precedent. Uh, you know, a leader will form a church and his word will be uh, what everybody's supposed to go along with. And he's established that when he formed the church, that he was the only one that could get messages from God and everybody else was supposed to let him do it. <laughs> And I, I don't believe in that. I believe that everybody has the capacity and needs to develop that capacity to pray, to feel like they're in communication. Uh, and if they don't get it, uh, and they rely on someone else to tell them. So what you get in a church is you get rebels, people who dispute uh, that this is true. and. Uh, so then you end up with rebels in a society who are not going along with church doctrine. And they're blamed uh, for not being able to, to conform. Conform. Well, conformity might not be... Uh, eventually, what you might get in a church is not really dealing with the whole society's problems. It would be dealing with what uh, they want to deal with. And some of the problems could be not dealt with. So just because of this establishment of authority, uh, authority of, of just the few or, or the one, uh, the prophet, and everybody else is supposed to go along. Um, can yes. I ask a question? Uh, is there a main point that you're heading for, or are you just gonna? <laughs> oh well, I what I uh, yeah. Well, I what thought I'm, you were making some comments about Kirstie Alley's show as being a piece of fluff. Uh, well, I did. Uh, I did do it, and I think it's interesting. Uh, but that's the point I'm trying to make: is there's got to be substance. There's got to be intellectual content in what we're what we're going to do to keep healthy, to keep our our urges, you know, like if we don't get an exchange going on that satisfies us, oh, we're going to be so frustrated. I am. I, 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 at the end of the day, sometimes I'm so frustrated I don't know what to do because I haven't been able to establish a contact, a contact that's strong enough and I'm desperate. I've thought of everybody in the world that I can communicate with. And as a child, I did this. I, I, I couldn't talk about my problems to people. So I observed that my uncle was talking to spirits, and I thought, I'm going to talk to the spirits. I'm desperate. I need. And OK, so I became sort of a medium, a medium to access them in a way that would be acceptable. Yeah, but you've gone from a medium to an extra large. <laughs> Yeah, I got fat. That's the worst thing I've done. I'll pay for that later, folks, <laughs> when the camera's off. <laughs> so think about it. Intellectual mm. content. Yeah, if you're me. listening, Kirsty, that's my biggest criticism of your show. Mm -hmm. Even though I like you. We're sisters. <laughs>